Julie Walker is the Phantom. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at Julie Walker is the Phantom from Moonstone Publishing. As you can see, this is cover B. Very nice. And before we get started, let me turn over to Comic Vine from GameSpot and read you a kind of summarized version of Julie Walker's biography. Sometime in the 19th century, the 16th Phantom ancestor of the current 21st Phantom had twins. A boy and a girl, the boy, Kit Walker, became the 17th Phantom, of course. But once, when he became ill, Julie took his place to maintain peace and order in the jungles of Bengala. All right, guys, so according to here... According to Comic Vine, Julie Walker's first appearance was in Phantom Men number 198525 as Julie. Um, it doesn't say when her first appearance was as the Phantom. According to this, her first out of costume appearance was in Phantom Men 198525. Uh, so I think what Moonstone did here was redo several of the Phantom's earlier stories because this is pretty much the exact uh, story as her earlier appearances from what I've read in my research of the Phantom. I am a big fan of the Phantom. However, I have not collected the old stories. But as you can see here, very nice artwork on the front. Uh, the binding is worn. But I would say this is in fair condition. Elizabeth Massey, Paul Daly. And of course, this Phantom does wear gloves. The rest of the costume is the same except for the gloves. It's been a while since I've read this uh, issue. Uh, written by Elizabeth Massey with additional input by Raphael Naves. Art by Paul Daly. Colored by Stephen Downer. Letter by Josh Aitken. Edited by Joe Gentile. Cover A and C by J. Anthony Kozar. And cover B and D by Paul Daly with Jason Jensen. Special thanks to our Phantom consultant, Ed Rhodes, and to Karen Moy at King Features. As you can see here, there's the 17th Phantom, Kit Walker, his twin sister, Julie. And as with every incarnation of the Phantom, uh, he, when he's in the form of Kit Walker, he doesn't usually show his entire face. He's usually wearing like sunglasses or a hat or something to kind of conceal his uh, full features. But very nice artwork, glossy pages. And in this, if I recall correctly, uh, this lady here, she's a journalist and her life's in danger. Uh, Kit Walker, of course, uh, becomes ill, so Julie has to take up the mantle of the Phantom for her brother. She, she sneaks aboard the ship to protect the uh, lady. And, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to reread this. Uh, I really like what Moonstone did with the Phantom. Uh, I really like the art. Art style is very nice. Um, I like that they, even though she's the Phantom in this, she's wearing a, a hood and cape, a cloak, uh, to also kind of conceal herself as well. Which I've always felt that the Phantom should probably wear a hood, at least. 
possibly a cape, but at least a hood. I don't know what it is about the Phantom. Uh, I was drawn to the Phantom by the animated series Phantom 2040 way back in the 90s. And then when Billy Zane's Phantom movie came out, I, I got even more hooked. <laughs> you know, it, just something about the character. Um, I, I don't know what it is. It, there, it's nothing. There's nothing really super special about the character. No superpowers. Um, just an ordinary human being who spent their life training. Uh, very similar to Batman, even though Phantom came first. Um, it's just something about the Phantom has always drawn me to the character. I like that it's a legacy. He's a legacy hero. Um, but very nice. Moonstone did a great job with the Phantom. Uh, Dynamite Comics is also doing a fantastic job with the Phantom in their King Features uh, stories. Such as King Quest and... Uh, King's Cross, and those others. Uh, very nice. I would highly recommend you guys pick up an issue of Julie Walker is the Phantom from Moonstone Comics, or any of the Phantom Comics for that matter. Moonstone did a very good job with the uh, design, with the draw, uh, the design elements, uh, the art style in the comics. Very nice. Um, I would have probably though. Given the time that Julie Walker was supposed to be around, I would have maybe shaped her body a little bit differently, though. I would have maybe given her a little bit bigger hips. She's supposed to have the same training as Kit Walker. Uh, so she would have needed a more athletic build for that time, for that era. Uh, so maybe a little bit bigger hips. Um... Maybe a thicker waist, not too thick, not to where she should look like a weightlifter or bodybuilder or anything, but definitely maybe a little bit thicker waist and I don't know. The breasts, I think, for the design of this character are probably perfect for the era, uh, not too large like the way they're drawn nowadays but yeah I, I really like the artwork I like the story I really like what Moonstone and Dynamite have done with the Phantom character uh, so yeah if, if you guys see any Phantom comics pick them up very good comics um, they're not really superhero style comics they're more pulpish but they're pulp but they're not pulp if that makes sense uh, they're in between, they're in that in between place between pulp, western, and superhero. Kind of all three combined together, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Uh, also, if you have a chance, make sure you uh, check out the series Phantom 2040. Um, I'm not sure if it's on DVD or not. Uh, I think you can probably find the entire series on YouTube, though, but you have to pay for it now. Also, check out the Billy Zane Phantom movie, as well as the uh, sci-fi miniseries, The Phantom. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Take care, everyone.